This tutorial is to create a servlet program for calculator application. We create a new dynamic project, which is named as project two. In the project two, we add two file. One will be the index.html file. So right click and new index.html file. Next and finish. And after that, we add one servlet file. Right click on the project to new servlet. We create the package as perform and the class name calculator. Go to next, next, and we will override in this case two methods do get and do post in the index.html file we will design the controls which are required for the calculator application it requires two text box for accepting the values and the number of controls the basic calculator with operations plus minus multiplication and division so we need four submit button with the value plus minus multiplication and division. So first we are creating a form with method get. We will modify that for the post method and we will see what is the difference which is coming for method get and post. And in the action we are mentioning the URL pattern of the servlet which is calculator the name of the servlet program which is calculator for accepting the first number we are creating an input text box input type equal to text and the name of the control is t1 similarly for accepting the second number we are using the text box input type equal text and name is t2 so t1 and t2 are the name of the controls for accepting the numbers now we create the submit button with different values for different operations, different basic arithmetic operations for calculator plus and the name of the control. We are mentioning the name of the submit button as BTN and we have to make the common name for all the submit button. So when we click on any of the submit button, we will be able to fetch the value and the value will be either plus minus multiplication or division from the same control name which is btn so for all the control submit button we have to mention the common name common name is btn and the values are different so when we fetch the value of btn we get the value depending upon which button we have pressed now since in the method we have mentioned get so get method can be processed by using do get method of http servlet class can be processed by using do get of http servlet similarly we have included do post also so do post can be processed for the post method of http request so if http method is post that can be processed by using do post method of http servlet now since we have written the method of the index.html as get we have to write the logic inside do get method the do get method takes two parameters the first one is http servlet request and the second one is http servlet response similarly do post also takes the same two parameters request and response by using response we can mention what type of content we are sending back to client by using set content type method response is used to send the data back to client and request is to is used to take the data from the client from the HTML file. We create a print writer object named as out.
the logic for taking the value from the text box T1 and T2 and performing the operations arithmetic operations plus minus multiplication or divisions we write the logic inside try catch block inside the try block first we initialize the out object print writer object by calling the method get writer of response so response dot get writer will create a print writer object and that is initialized at out object by using println we can display either html page or we can either include html tags or text informations back to the client by using println method of print writer object so we can write out dot println first we display a center tag back to client now by using request dot get parameter we can fetch the value from the first text box and it will convert into integer and store in the variable a similarly the second text box t2 value can be fetched by using request dot get parameter of t2 and convert into integer and store in a variable b so now we have two variables integer variables a and b which takes the value from the text box t1 and t2 to store the result of the operations we create another variable c which is initialized as zero now we have to take the value of the operations what we have clicked the submit button name is btn so btn value can be fetched by using request dot get parameter of the control name btn button string op value will be either plus minus multiplication or division which are the possible values of btn control so if op is equal to plus so string can be compared by using equals equals method so if op is equal to plus we will perform the addition of a and b and store the result inside c similarly if the op is minus we perform c equal a minus b if op is multiplication we perform c equals a into b and if it is division we perform c equals a divided by b so we can display the result as first we display the value of a and then we display the value of the operations what operations we have performed and next the value of b and an equal symbol and then we display the value of c now with the result if you want we can also include the html tags for formatting purpose so we are including before displaying the result we are starting an h3 tag heading tag and after displaying the result we close the h3 tag the result of the operations will be displayed by using heading tag h3 now during the execution of try block if any runtime error occurs it goes to the catch block and inside the catch block we are displaying the error message by using e dot get message out dot println e dot get message in the finally block after displaying the result or error message if you want to go back to the main page we are using an anchor tag for creating a hyperlink to go back to the main page so the main page is index.html so in the finally block we are writing out.println to go to main page and anchor tag we are using hyperlink reference is index.html href and the hyperlink text is click here and we close the anchor tag so when we click on click here 
it goes to the hyperlink index.html and the center tag is closed after displaying the result or the error message the center tag will be closed right click on index.html and run on server the html page there will be two text box t1 and t2 and there are button controls btn with different values plus minus multiplication and division so in the servlet it fetch the value and display the respective result So during the runtime error, it goes to the catch block and display the catch block error message. Now in this case, while we are executing the program, suppose we have two values T1 as five and T2 text, second text box value is three. So since it is get method we have used, the URL will consist of the parameter values. So these parameter values we can change. So since we have used the get method, when we click on the submit button, we can see the parameter values. So two parameters T1 and T2 and its values are coming and these values can be changed. So when we change the values, the respective result will get modified. Now, if you don't want the values to be displayed on the URL, the parameter values not, not to be displayed in the URL and it need to be transferred by using HTTP packet itself, then we have to use the method as post. Now, when we use the post method, it can be processed inside the servlet form analysis method do post. Now, in this case, what we can do, we already written the logic inside do get method. So we can either call do get method from do post and pass the parameters request and response. This is one way in which both the do get and do post will work or otherwise if you want to include only post method so the logic what we have written inside the do get need to be written inside do post now we don't have any logic which is written inside the do get so get method does not work only the post method work for this servlet so we have included the post method in the client in the form we have mentioned the method as post and the analysis method the form analysis method we have written inside the servlet do post method when we execute this html file we can see that when we mention some values the parameter values won't get appended on the url so url is a calculator is so a calculator is a servlet url and we won't be able to see the parameter and parameter names and values inside the URL. It is passed by using HTTP packet itself. Also, we can change the URL pattern. There is no need that we have to mention the name of the class and URL pattern to be same. So at the annotation at rate web servlet, we can change the name of the URL pattern required for the servlet. So calculator, we have replaced the URL as find op. So in the action, we have to mention the URL pattern, which is find op. So find op is the URL pattern for the servlet, which is perform dot calculator. So in the action also, we have used the URL pattern as find op. So when you execute the program, once we click on the submit button, it will call find op which is a url but find op is mapped with the servlet name calculator so calculator servlet will get called when we use a url find op url pattern for the servlet class can be different from the name of the servlet class it can be changed at the annotation at rate web servlet